Hello, my friends. It's Agnes coming to you with another uh, flower, quick flower to tell you since my live yesterday video did not have too good of a lighting. So I just want to recap with you this flower that we made last night. You know me that I do use the random pieces. So in this case, is I'm trying to get to some kind of a square, but uh, even if the square is not happening, it really doesn't matter. So now look what happens. I'm folding my square in half on the corners, folding it again in half until I get to this comfortable um, triangle, I mean, the yeah, comfortable triangle that it's going to help me make uh, the petals. So now I have a million little hearts if you look at it. So here I go again, fold it in half, fold it again and then fold it one more time. So you're folding three times your shapes, you know, <laughs> rectangular square or something to create the triangle. Look how confusing I am. So here I go, I have two pieces. You can create more. And yesterday in a video, I've actually used all different materials. But now look what happens. You know, I do not like to waste stuff. So whatever I was cutting, um, you know, the scraps, um, what I'm doing right now is trying to fold um, a little rolls randomly and not really trying to, you know, form them in any way. Just simply folding them to create a little interest because, you know, the middle of the uh, flowers, it's in some cases, it's very important, but it's really not, it's not showing much. So I've had glue it all around. Now I'm going to my cutouts, adding a little bit glue in the middle. Um, and that's it, and smooshing, squeezing, and you're all done. Doing it again to this one, uh, the second piece that I cut out, and it's done. Here we go, some squishing here and there. Look how pretty. Obviously, we, yesterday we used uh, a different material so that it looks even better. But I wanted to share that again with you since I am working on a project for my blog that I will for sure share the details of later. But So I needed the three flowers and I needed the uh, rustic ones. And of course, those flowers can be left alone by themselves or put them in the clusters as you can see it right now. Um, and for my project, yes, I do need a, a little ribbon. And this is how I do my ribbon, my tails. I just pinch, put it in the middle, <laughs> squeeze, and it's done. So here we go. I feel that it's actually looking pretty good on this project. Okay, as I always say, is there's no excuses. Flowers can be done out of any material and out of any shape. And now look, it actually looks pretty cool on my new project that I cannot wait to share details with. So here is a little close up. I love it. I mean, actually the style of this flower and the material, I feel it complements what I was trying to achieve. So I really hope that I uh, inspired you to try to cut out the flowers out of any pieces you have. So let's just recap uh, in a minute uh, a picture from last night project that we've done. And in that project, as you can see, is I've used drop cloth and I used the lace. I've used some um, pearls and some sheer fabric. So this is again the same way I've made that flower, but out of different materials. So it does have a different personality. So it's again, if you enjoy this project, Please don't forget to sprinkle and I'll talk to you tonight and we're going to be making more flowers for sure. Bye.